Hey guys, Rafe here from Parkour Visions to talk to you today about one of the most important concepts in parkour, which is landings. This is going to be a long one, so put your thinking caps on because we're about to drop some knowledge on y'all. <laughs> Newton's third law tells us that when we hit the ground, the ground hits us back with exactly the same force. The ground is an unfeeling monster with a heart of stone. So if you hit the ground hard, the results are not going to be pretty. <laughs> Be nice to the ground, and the ground will be nice to you. Ah! The force we hit the ground with is determined by two concepts from physics. The four, first is force equals mass times acceleration. So the heavier you are, and the higher you fall from, the harder you're going to hit the ground. And that total impact does not change, and that's why technique is so important. The second concept tells us that force can be distributed over time and area. So if you can take longer to absorb a landing and use more of your body, you're going to experience less peak impact. To understand the concept of area, imagine doing a three foot drop to a rail versus a wide wall. The rail is gonna hurt your feet more because there's less area for your foot to absorb. To understand the time concept, imagine landing and immediately stopping versus landing and bending down. When you bend deeply into a landing, your center of mass continues to move towards the ground, but you're able to use all of your muscles to decelerate it gradually, increasing the time. Finally, you need to understand some basics of biomechanics. Your body is designed to distribute force through the entire myofascial skeletal structure. And when everything is aligned properly, large muscles, bones, and major tendons absorb the force of landing. When we are improperly aligned, however, we tend to rely on small passive structures like the knee ligaments or the spinal discs, and they end up being exposed to shear forces, which our body is much less well able to buffer. So good mechanics mean that as you drop down into your squat, your knees press to the outside, preventing medial collapse, which is going to impinge those ligaments. And it means keeping the spine neutral, so we're not creating shear forces on those spi uh, spinal discs. It is always better to maintain good mechanics than to use a bigger range of motion. So don't take drops that force you past the point where you can maintain good mechanics. Next, let's look at step out or in stride landings. These are really effective when you're dealing with lower impacts because they can allow you to take the downward force of landing and transfer it forward. In order to do this, you have to have your foot land behind your center of mass so that you can use the lever of your leg to change the direction of the force. It's also important that your hip be tilted posteriorly so that you can use your glutes to press you through and actively change the direction of the force that you're dealing with. Finally, we're going to talk about rolls. Rolls are really important because they allow us to uh, redirect force through landing with our center mass in front of our legs and driving forward with our legs and they also allow us to absorb force by using the largest surface available to us, our back. This is why we have to use them for our highest impact landings. So the key takeaway here is that your body has to be past your point of contact when you land. If your legs are in front of you or even directly below you, they're going to have to absorb almost all the force and the roll isn't going to do anything. So the question is, how do I get better at landings? And the answer is practice, practice, practice. The timing of muscle activation at each joint is very important to good landings and it's different depending on how much force you have. So you have to practice and progressively develop towards higher drops. The key point is, do a low volume, make sure you never go past what you can do with good mechanics, and you always stop if you start if experiencing any joint pain. The last key component is you have to develop strength and mobility. You can't take a landing that your legs aren't strong enough to absorb, and if you don't have good ranges of motion, you're gonna be making compromises that are gonna ding your joints and leave you feeling messed up and not ready to do parkour. <laughs> okay guys, sub to our channel so you can come back and see more progressions on how to improve your landings and many other parkour techniques.